Guys, how's it going? Welcome to our channel, Why Not Now? My name is Steven, and this is my beautiful wife, Miss Maria. Almost swam up there, guys. <laughs> hey, what are we doing today? We're over here hanging out with our friends over here. They're doing a competition, like a horse competition. Yeah, there's different competitions yeah. going on, and actually, you guys probably already have seen one of our other videos where we went horseback riding, and um, our friend Noah invited us to watch him compete. And you know, we now consider him a friend. We've been to his house, we've been to his daughter's birthday party, and actually, today after the competition, we're gonna go ahead and have some more food at his house again. So, we're gonna share you some real authentic Mexican culture. And guys, it's truly amazing here. You see little children on horses. I mean, they, this is serious, guys. I mean, they take this very serious, yeah, very skilled. The horses are very, very beautiful. Um, I just want to put, put this out there because I know everybody has different opinions. It's not whether, about whether we agree or don't agree. And we know people can be sensitive about animals. This is part of the culture here. Yep. We are not here to judge. We are here to, to support our friend. And this is something that goes on here in Mexico. Yeah. So but I just want to put that out there. Now, yeah. moving along, we have a good day planned for you guys. And we hope you enjoy it. Yep. And like my wife was saying, this is a cultural thing. They even do this in the States as well. So. It, it's, it, it's, I guess it's like to each his own, and, and they're having a good time doing it, and we're just here supporting our friend, and hopefully you guys can hear us because of the noise and the wind and stuff like that, but yeah, we're going to take you along with us, and we know you're going to enjoy today, so stay tuned. So 
guys now were actually um, going to watch our other friends. Like Noah's son, Hossein, is right here. And he's in the white shirt here. And he's getting ready to do his little competition, his little roping. Hey guys, so we wanted to share some of our, our thoughts and our perspective. Um, you know how we always, you know, try to, to speak from the heart and um, we just wanted to really say like, you know, we, we've been here now for, I want to say about what, two hours, maybe two hours, maybe, yeah, two hours. and we saw the horses, which was, you know, it was beautiful seeing them, we saw <clears throat> um, typical riding the bulls and we saw people trying to rope the bulls and, and all different kinds of competitions and there are more to come it looks like. And even though I was I was actually earlier, I was talking to, to our friends and I was saying, you know, I already know how it's going to go because no matter what you do, when you're, when you're putting yourself like we are or any anybody else, a YouTuber on a public platform to be, you're, you're putting yourself out there, you know you're, you're putting yourself out there to be judged for all. Meaning, I don't care how nice and how, you know, neutral and we are and how we try not to ruffle feathers, people are going to say bad things about us. Always. If we have too much to say or we're too opinionated, people are going to have things to say about us. So we already know you cannot please the public no matter what you do and how good you think you can be. So all we can do is be our true and genuine selves. And those of you who have been following us from day one, um, we hope that you can see that shine through and we hope that... Uh, that comes across in our videos and I'm, I'm saying all of this to say that we're here as we told you earlier to support our friend now not only our friend there was another, uh, one of his uh, his friends like I can't think of his name right now he's actually competing we were speaking with him uh, much earlier and then our son's friend is competing and he approached us and he was so excited he saw yeah. us you know here then he was so happy that we came and he was like oh you know he had his little you know white yeah, button that, turn you, you, you guys probably saw him with the white uh, button down the little red bow tie and um he was just like you know oh you guys are gonna see me you know i'm gonna i'm gonna work the horse i'm gonna rope i'm gonna rope a bull and he just you know was so proud yeah. to share that with us and we respect and we appreciate that, but at the same time, we're gonna give you our thoughts and our, you know, our real opinion. It's so hard. Like, I don't know. Honestly, it was really hard. Like, I almost cried. Like, I, it was hard for me to to, get, to watch the the cows get roped and get dragged. That for me, you know, I, I really don't. Want, I kind of will limit that I'm going to show we just show you a piece of it just because we as we always say yes we have to show you this is all this is authentic Mexico yeah. you know this is still a huge part of the culture here in Mexico and and even in other cultures right yeah. so we are not here to judge but at the same time do we like it do we you are we comfortable watching it a hundred percent no it, it it hurt it hurts my heart um, but I don't want to be a hypocrite because at the same time I'll eat a hamburger so you know who am I to be you know and I'm not saying people who are vegetarians or vegans are better um, I'm just saying there's you know we all we all in life regardless of however you want to slice and dice it um, we're not perfect we're human beings I don't care who you are there's only one perfect perfect and, and yeah, he's and not it's, walking around but that's the thing though it's, it's not a, it's not even about being vegan vegetarian or whatever at the end of the day this is the Mexican Mexican culture I grew up in the south we grew up hunting we grew up doing I, I had cousins that used to do horse rodeos things like that if you watch the rodeo and you watch certain things this is what they do Mexico isn't all about beaches and partying and fun yes. and stuff like that. And we we're, showed we're, you we're guys. We've in, in, like we shown that in the States. The, in the commercials and but, the media. Yeah, but, but th th that isn't Mexico. And you guys know our channel is about authentic Mexico. And we have um, to show you the truth. <laughs> and we're showing you things and we're not going to show everything. As you see, we're standing away um, filming a video. The, the, the competition is still going on. We're not... We're not I understand it, we understand it, but at the same time, we, we're just supporting our friends, but we we don't fully agree with it because I used to be a person who used to go hunting, and I used to go fishing, I used to do all these things, but I'm not that individual anymore. I'm not trying to say I'm better than someone that does. You know, everybody does, everybody do whatever they do. You know, they do archery, they do bow hunting, they do whatever they do, you know, that's what right. they do. So, but yeah, Mexico is a- capture butterflies and, and, and like have a collection. Collection, yeah. They do yeah. all kinds of things. Everybody do every, all, all type of things. And then like my wife was saying, we are not gonna please everybody. We are not in the business no, of being people yeah, pleasers. We're not. we're not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. We're not trying to, we're not intentionally doing anything. We're just showing you our daily life over here in Mexico. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is part of the countryside. So we actually, um, 
we we drove out about about it's about 20 25 minutes away from where we live yeah. and you guys know we showed you the prosperous and the beautiful and technology savvy santiago de Querétaro is beautiful people are well to do there but there are multiple sides to Querétaro, just like multiple sides of different parts of any city in Mexico and this is another side this is out in the countryside and this is a big part of the culture yeah. here and it's when I tell you like the families here are gathered up and they are from you know yay high like we're talking about babies up until grandparents and they're yeah. all here and they're all supporting and you can tell I mean they're this is normal to them they were raised yeah. around this so so I just want to know your thoughts guys I mean for those of you Mexicanos that grew up seeing this what are your thoughts um, how how did you learn to how did you learn to you know not um, be bothered when you're dealing with like dealing with training horses and or you're dealing with like you're learning how to ride a bull and you have to do these kind of things that you know can be controversial how did you get over that um, how did people judge you when you met people from other cultures? Were they supportive? Did they judge you? And for those of you who this is brand new to and you've never seen it before, maybe you just saw it on TV. Yeah. You know, what are your thoughts about it? And as I always say, guys, I, we're all about have, we're all about respecting and welcome different different opinions. But don't don't come in the comments and start attacking each other. You can say what you want to say and be direct and be respectful and not have to hold your tongue. But at the same time, you don't have to, you know, use profanity or it's attack a judge, people. And it's a judge-free zone. Yeah, so like, that, that's like, just what we're about, you know, because we're not going to allow that. We're going to remove that comment. If you, you know, we, we, we rarely have to remove a comment, but if you're going to come on there and you're going to use profanity or do certain things like that, you're not going to be, uh, you're just, or you're going to just say certain things to rally up the, rally up the troops, your comment's not going to be there. Just, just FYI. But we're all about different opinions. We, we'd love to see, you know, we'd love to hear about someone else's uh, side because it helps us see things differently and vice versa we can help you see something differently but we wanted to share that with you um yeah this is the other side of Querétaro guys we're in Querétaro Mexico 20 25 minutes outside of the city the stuff that you see of the other youtubers show you the stuff that we've shown you the central historical there's more to Querétaro right we, we're so, not just here to show you certain yeah certain parts yeah so this is us showing you that and guys like I said and my, like my wife was saying this is just a real authentic Mexican culture over here and, and, and this is what we And if this is the first time you've seen our video, we know to our number our day one fans, we thank you. Thank you for your support, for your love, your words of encouragement. It means so much to us. It really does that yeah. you guys tell us, you know, you guys come through as genuine, you guys come through as real. I trust what you say. You know, I watch other YouTubers, but when I really want to know something, I come to you guys, I email you guys, I appreciate it. And, yeah. and guys, just FYI. I, I'm getting a lot of emails yeah, lately and I'm doing emails. my best to respond yeah. to them so sometimes I can't respond for weeks at a time just keep that in mind it's not that I'm ignoring you um, if I didn't respond to you I didn't get it I had I had one person tell me I'm trying to email you again you know because the first time I didn't get a response and I said I said I'm glad you did because I didn't get your email so they they were very thankful that I let them know that but just so you guys know we're doing the best we can to get back to everybody our channel is continuing to grow and um, you know just just don't just watch this one video see what we're really about yeah, but, check out our other videos so venues, you can really know the, who we are yeah, check out everything all right guys well, thank you don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like comment and just hey guys just share our content if you enjoy all right talk to you in a bit Alright guys, like we said in our Guanajuato video, if you haven't seen it, we went when we visited Guanajuato City and Leon. Yep. Stray dogs everywhere, that's typical. So on the countryside you see nothing but stray dogs. Yep. Alright guys, cool we had a an experience today. Um, you know, we went and said goodbye to our friends. They kept trying to get us to stay a little bit longer to go back to the house and barbecue. But honestly, you know, we exhausted. are exhausted. We're ready to go back home and just kinda lay low, eat something. Um, Take it easy right yeah, now. Yeah, they wore us out the other day riding horses, man. <laughs> they did, yeah. <laughs> they wore us out. So just end it as we always do, guys. Remember, live the life that you were meant to live. Keep a grateful heart. And remember, why not now? All right, guys. Peace.